when um, we're away and we're like out of action, who, who, other than Suzanne, who will you talk to of the day? How will you get a sort of uh, uh, f feedback from the world? How will you get sort of like input and? I always, if I'm ever out of anything, the internet sat there and I can just go on online and find out. The what internet I'm is is good. It's brilliant, but it, it's not all verified. What do you mean? It's not all verified. It's not all factually, necessarily factually accurate. Anyone can put things onto the internet. It's the, you know, that's, it's, it's freaks and things that put on well, here's things one, right? like... Well, here's, here's one that I read in the week, right? Go on. <laughs> About this woman. Yeah. Uh, she was a bit of a punk. And, um, to get her hair done like she wanted it. Super glue. Right, no. She mm. got lard. Apparently it's a popular thing, you might, you might know. Um, put lard on your head. Yeah. And you put it in the oven. <laughs> now... Apparently, the heat that you get from the oven is different from the sort of heat you get from an air dryer, right? And she had to do that to get the style that she wanted. But anyway, uh, she comes in some money or whatever, treats herself to a microwave, right? It doesn't. It's not true. Carl. Opens the door, jams the things, you know, like the little catch, so so the microwave works. She jams it with a screwdriver or a knife or microwave on, sticks her head in, boils her brain. <laughs> Don't be ridiculous. Right. Well, why is that ridiculous? <laughs> Boils her brain. She boiled her brain. <laughs> <laughs> she boiled her brain. And this is what's good about the internet. I went straight from that, and there was a subject about brains. And do you know that Russell Gr Crowe, when he dies, is is given his his brain to charity or something, some sort of <laughs> some people who can do stuff right. with it. She gave hers to Pot Noodle. <laughs> Ah, Vesta, yeah. Oh, that's boiling the sort of a skull. Yeah, that's that's not true. No. It's not true, Carl. It's the same as the woman who put her poodle in the microwave, isn't it? And all it's that. Just urban myths. They're but, urban myths. But again, where does it start? Someone made it up. <laughs> yeah, for a laugh. They're they're just too convenient. Urban myths. Everyone to you can tell an urban myth not to really go because it's always this happened to a mate of mine, and and the, and the, when you say what happened then, they go, don't know, that was it, was it? That was it. There was no <laughs> more story. Well, uh, it, uh, there's, there's, were there any like, dates, locations, you, ever, times? Uh, I think it was in Belgium. There's that. There's that. There's that. <laughs> <laughs> there's that one. That a bloke, right, was going to get a phone call at four o'clock to find out if his business was, you know, okay, right? And if if he didn't get the phone call, he knew he was. Um, broke, destitute. So, uh, uh, dead on four o'clock, the phone didn't ring, so he went up to the, the, the roof, his office, and he jumped off to commit suicide. And as he was passing his window, the phone was ringing. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> Carl, it didn't happen. Didn't happen. Think it through. Think it through. Who, who, who told that story? Who told that story? As he hit the pavement at 120 miles an hour. He's the only person who could have known those, that series of incidents. Also, why didn't he wait, as his life's at stake, why didn't he wait till five past? I say I'm gonna give it five minutes just in just case. In case the lines I, are busy. Yeah. And this time? and what sort of what sort of bloke goes out? I'll call you at four, okay. If I don't call exactly four, then uh no you yeah. commit suicide. Commit suicide. <laughs> I would, because if I don't call at four Oh that's the end of it. Well call me anyway. No that's not the way I work. <laughs> why can't he just call me and tell me the other way? Well I'm telling you how I would do it. <laughs> If you're bust, I don't call. Can't you just call to verify in case something goes wrong? What if it's engaged? It won't be engaged. <laughs> just commit suicide at four, please. It it didn't happen, Carl. Have you the other one, right? A bloke, right? Uh, he's he's on a uh, train station, and uh, uh, I tell you, how I heard it. Um, uh, he's uh, uh, he's waiting for a crew station, whatever, and um, he shits himself. Uh, as you do. <laughs> and so he goes, oh, my well, train's in five minutes, I need... So he runs across to Millets and goes, quick, Levi's, 36. The bloke just puts it in a bag, he runs onto the train, uh, he goes into the, the toilet, takes his uh, um, trousers and pants off. His soiled trousers yes. and pants. Throws them out of the window, I won't be needing those again. Cleans himself off. Oh. No, he didn't have a call! At what point did he go into it and go, go, quick, Levi's 36, and the bloke went, sorry, Levi's 36, what, a pair, no, 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 shall I wrap them, them, it, it, shall I wrap, <laughs> just wrap, whatever it is, do you want to look, no, do, I'm not looking when you're putting it in the bag, please, right, <laughs> uh, well, 36 <laughs> waist joints, well, no, don't say anything, I've told you 36 Levi's, <laughs> yes. they put it in a bag yeah. and charge me for it, yeah, 
I don't oh. want to discuss it further. Yeah. There was one, um... Here we go. There was one about a woman whose yeah. husband died, and she had him cremated. Yeah. And made, uh, made like a little egg timer out of him. Oh. And she said, I did that so it can still help around the kitchen. <laughs> well, that might be true. That might be a joke. That's quite sweet. That no, might be that true. That is a true story, again. It was all No, right. not again, because the ones I just told weren't. Nor is the boiling the brains in a head story true. Yeah. They're too, they're too convenient. Will they... you be buried or cremated? What? Will you be buried or cremated? I don't know. That, by, uh, cremated. I what do you see? I've, I don't know. It's out of my hands. Yeah, I haven't thought about it. I've not thought it through. And no, I don't honest. care either way. Have you heard the one so about... Each, li Sorry. I'm just worried that we're getting into a macabre world now of ashes, boiled heads. I think we should play some music that people just calm down. Levi's. Just think about some of the, the urban myths they've maybe heard. Assess yeah. them. Maybe they are absolute bollocks. Yeah. And yeah. Uh, they can move on from it. Well, it's life. just that the death thing, right? Yeah. There was an argument on there about... Huh? Do you know that Twilight Zone or whatever it was, Tales of the Unexpected? Oh, yeah. Where the woman got buried alive. Mm. Yeah. They were saying how, like, years ago, um, they'd bury people thinking they're dead. Yeah. And they've, they've recently, like, dug coffins up, and then the people who were in the coffin weren't dead. They might have just been, like, in some sort of deep sleep. Lifted the lid off. Yeah. And there's scratch marks yeah. on the thing. Yeah. And that's pretty scary. That Makes you think. I mean, I hope they check these days. That's all. Um, I'd like to play a beautiful song now by Cat Stevens. On the fly. How did you enjoy Edinburgh, by the way, anyway? Because I saw you up there briefly with you and um, Nick Frost, your new mates, Nick Frost and Simon Pegg. Would, no. would you have been happier for me? No. Oh, so uh, I had a great time with yeah. Simon and Nick and the, and the nice people. But, what but he, kept going, he kept going, he kept going to, uh, oi, oi, Nick, tell Ricky that story. And he th and Nick and Simon, well, all it was, right, and they're ghost stories. That's, he loves them because they believe in ghosts. Oh. It's not, not just that. Not because they're great oh, blokes with great sense of humour, just because they believe in ghosts. And you go and tell him that, he goes, how'd you explain that? I was going, well, I wasn't there. What was that one you told me and it was completely wrong? About the... It was, uh... Oh, yeah, right, it's years ago. Oh, yeah. Uh, some, some In olden days, oh, sure. when ghosts like, roamed the earth. What's upon a type, you mean? <laughs> yeah. Some doctor or something who was into, like, the way bodies work, um, they got their head cut off. Uh, who and did? The doctor? Yeah, he was doing a bit of an experiment. And he cut his own head off? He, yeah. Okay. And it was about, um, he said, when my head's in the basket, I'm gonna blink my eyes. Right. Okay, sorry, hang on, let, let him finish. <laughs> and, um... Well, I'm going to blink my eyes. To no, he's in the, he's in the basket and he goes like, right, I'm going to blink my eyes about, you know, as many times as I can. So quick, count them. And, and they count and he got to like 15 before he, he, he right. died. Right, now this is how Carl told me that. Till, till Nick Frost explained that, Carl told me, you know, he said, right, well a bloke, right, he had his head cut off and, as, and when his head was in the basket, he went, count how many times I can blink. <laughs> and I went, well, that's rubbish. He went, no. And Nick went, well, no, he, he actually said, when my head's in the basket. He went, and Carl went, oh, right. I said, so, Carl, do you know the subtle difference? Do you see the subtle difference? I have to say, though, guys, I still don't really understand what went on there. I really, you well, both well, lost me. The story is that a bloke who'd been found doing, um, uh, doing You a, mean uh, that Carl just explained it and that was a clear version? Because <laughs> <laughs> I still don't know what you're talking about, Carl. Well, this bloke. Had his head cut off for uh, experiments against God. He was a doctor in the, you know, uh, in olden times. Yeah. And when they cut his head off, um, why did they cut his head off? Because um, uh, it was uh, he it was, was crimes against exactly. He was executed. Yeah. And uh, uh, he said to his assistant, "I'm going to blink. Count how many times I blink and write it down as an experiment." Right. Carl told it to me like his head was cut off and he went in the basket. And when his head was in the basket, he looked up and said, <laughs> "Count how many times I blink." <laughs> yeah. I love that. I love the difference in that story. Yeah. yeah. Both rubbish, yeah. but, um, you know, one's, one's Why possible you, you and one isn't. Anything, you believe anything that you're told except when we tell you the truth. Right, yeah. here's one. Christ. Ghosts and that we got, we got talking about. Sure. Yeah. And Nick, uh, Nick said, right, he said, you'll like this one. Huh. He said, uh, my, uh, my auntie, um, was having loads of problems. Why are you whispering? It? It's not illegal like, to talk oh, about ghosts on the radio. No, but, but it's eerie, and, this. Um, so, um, <laughs> the aunt is in the house and that, and, um, furniture's moving about all the time. Oh, God. And they were like, oh, oh is... Steve, you told me this one. This is such rubbish, mate. No, come on, let's listen. I'm going to leave it to you. I'm going to sit back and l enjoy it. I'm just going to watch your face, Steve. Right. Sorry, so, so I missed said, the beginning uh, there, Carl. There's an aunt right, in the Basically, house. Nick's auntie. Right. Um, 
in the house, things moving around all the time. Oh, and it was just annoying every time she tidied up. It was like... It was one part annoying to two parts scary. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So... so <laughs> Oh, so stuff dear. was stuff was moving around all the time, and yeah. they said, right, rather than right, we need an housekeeper. Yeah. Rather than having the house a mess, uh, <laughs> until we sort Stop this it! Out. <laughs> I've got the vicar coming round. Stop moving stuff this. around. Oh, yeah, go on. They said that should be in the pants drawer. <laughs> Let's put all the furniture in one room, right? right. So uh, just have one room. That's a mess, and have all the others <laughs> empty. Because I love the poltergeist. Can't really. Uh, it can move wardrobes around, but it can't open the door to put it in another room. Yeah. Poltergeist going. Oh, I'm just making this room messy. I wish someone opened the door so I could. F go on. Yeah, but. So, so all this stuff's in this room. So they right? moved all their furniture everything into one room. Everything they put like the drawers in there and everything, and <laughs> it was really uncomfortable because they were all like on top well, of each they other. They sat in the room with all the stuff. Yeah, they had to because that's where the three-piece suite was. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> oh god. Right. Oh, oh god. So they sat there, right, all crumpled up and that. Right. Things. Yeah. I think things were trying to move. Yeah. But yeah everything yeah, yeah. was so tight. It's they just, boxed like, that poltergeist. So, um, so anyway, one night they sat there like. Sort of a bit awkward watching the telly and that, and um, they hear some banging. Yeah. In the next room. <laughs> so uh, she goes, "Oh God, what's that?" Oh, he hadn't moved in. I need the ghost. So uh, <laughs> to some of the empty rooms. So there's this bang. <laughs> She's moved some friends and family in. <laughs> there's this banging about going on. No, so this, 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 she, this she gets up. Right. Yeah. And what it is, they had the baby in the next room because there wasn't much room for the cot. Right. So they left the baby with, with the ghost. <laughs> <laughs> so. <laughs> they go into the room where the baby is, <gasps> and the banging yeah. is like, do you know those plastic balls you get that you can chuck around the room and, like, they go mental? Right. The ones that you chuck once and yeah, they keep bouncing yeah, yeah, for ages. Yeah, yeah. That was bouncing around the room. Why? What, the baby all, had thrown it? It in all the walls, and the baby was there, stood in the cot, sort of laughing. Right. And looking at the ball, and wherever it looked, the ball went. Yeah. And then she said, uh, she said, stop doing that. Yeah. And the ball just stopped. Did it? Stopped. Right. So the baby had thrown the ball and it was watching it as it bounced around the room. It wasn't throwing it, it was in control of it. No, the point is, Steve, the baby had been doing it. It would have been the baby all along. The baby had been messing with the furniture. It was so the baby it's a that super had the baby. power. <laughs> yeah, it's the baby that had the power. Special, ba it's special baby. It's the baby that had the power. It's the baby power? that had the power. What, the, power the power of telekinesis. Right. They were then trying to convince me that uh, telekinesis was not like all the other stuff that I didn't believe in, but that was a science. Right. Telekinesis was possible. Yes. Yeah, it's not, it's not like, it's not like ghosts and demons and, uh, all that sort of, telekinesis is different. Yeah. That, that's yeah. a science. Um. But, Nick, but, Nick's auntie saw it and... I love the fact that you're telling me that someone else's auntie <laughs> saw it. <laughs> so I should be, I should be satisfied with that. Yeah. I, I, I should be satisfied with that. I mean... No. So does she still live in one room with all her possessions? No, I think uh, the baby the, grew out of it. Apparently, it, it grew. <laughs> the up. baby grew out of it. it. So it doesn't use its telekinesis powers no. anymore. Well, no, it's no. like in Carrie, innit? She. Okay, I'm mm. just gonna say one thing, Carl. Um, that was a film. Do you want to play a record or? <laughs> oh. Get, a fire! Get free. All right, on XFM one hundred and four. Point nine. Can I just tell you a story that Carl told me a couple of weeks ago? Is this another um, ghost story? Another yeah, it is. Story? Yeah. Um, uh, I called him out, I was like, what are you doing? He said, oh, I said, I've just been reading ghost stories again. He went, th he said, right, he said, you don't believe in them, but how do you explain this? So I went, go on. He said, uh, well, I'll tell you as he told me it. He went, um, bloke, right, just sitting at home, just sitting at home, doing, you know, watching telly with his, with his cat. And, uh, the phone rings, and it's a bloke going, uh, oh, uh, is that fire, uh, in your oven okay now? Um, cos your wife called. And he went, Carl went, well, one, there was no fire. In the oven. Two, he wasn't married. <laughs> I went, right. Go on, he went, well. Then, right, there was a knock at the door and there was two sort of people in sort of well, white coats and they, and they came and said, oh, we've come about that fire. Your wife called us. He went, one, and, and two, I'm not even married. Right? And he said, and they saw the cat and they sort of, they looked at the cat, it looked a bit weird at the cat, the cat came out, and, uh, uh, and uh, he said, and then he went back and sat down phone rings, and they said, oh, uh, did they sort out the fire in the oven that your wife told us about? Oh. He went, one, there is no fire in my oven, two, I haven't got a wife. And Carl went, what do you think of that? I went, that's not it. <laughs> he went, yeah, I went. <laughs> that's the end of the I story. Went, what? 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 He went, well, how do you explain that? I went, explain what? 
I thought it was gonna say, <laughs> a year later we got married but she died in an oven fire. <laughs> right? I thought it was gonna be that- and I went, That's what? people winding him up! Yeah, or, 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 um, someone did report a fire in an oven and their name was Johnson and they looked up Johnson they got the wrong thing, it was the gas board or that, <laughs> and they sent around to the wrong person, right? You know, he, he went, he went, yeah, I said, I explained it to him, he went, yeah, why do they look at the cat funny? <laughs> Oh, man alive, Carl. <laughs> this is really weird, right? I was in my house once, right, and the doorbell rang. Yeah. Right, I opened the door, and there was no one there. Yeah. Right? And then I looked across the street, there was right, some kids and there were some kids running away. Yeah. Now, how do you explain that? Yeah. There was another time, right, where, like, I, I opened the door, and there was a like, bird goes, you've ordered pizza. I went, I haven't ordered pizza. And I heard my mate upstairs giggling and putting the phone down. Yeah. How do you explain that? Carl, seriously, what did you, why did you tell me that story? What did you think, what did you think that was weird about that? The fact that... It was three different people. Is this all the information? Is that the entire story? Have you, did it was you, three different people. Did you fall asleep and not read the end? A fire that didn't happen, about a wife that didn't exist, <laughs> and a cat that didn't look happy. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm gonna have a heart attack, Carl. What? I mean, why? Why did they look at the cat funny? Because what? cats don't don't like um, spirits, do they? <laughs> And the other blokes were ghosts. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 That's it. So right? these, are, these are kind of beetles to walk the st walk the earth <laughs> as the ah! undead, just winding oh, people up slightly. That's lovely. That is but lovely. Seriously, and a cat that did not look happy. But seriously, why would ghosts <laughs> wander around just like winding people up? <laughs> oh. Maybe something did happen there years ago. Mm. Some fire. Some woman might have died in the house of a fire or something. Yeah. And yeah. Uh, it sort of all happened again. Bit yeah. Of a... Yeah. It's certainly a mystery. It's, I mean, certainly you know, it's a mystery. Yeah. I mean, I can't. I. What's can't, this I... book you were reading? You were reading a book, which is interesting enough. It was. Um, it was the fourteen fourteen times. Oh, Carl. Yeah. yeah. Well, I don't know. I don't know what to say. Well, I tell you this, Carl. There is a track that will uh, that will spook you right out. This is Warren Zevon from, uh, what was it, like about 1979, early oh, 80s? Oh, great track. Werewolves of London. Play this, Carl. But don't be scared. From 1978, Carl, Werewolves of London by Warren Zevon. Are you a fan of that? It's all right, that's great track, track, isn't it? Fans right. of Warren Zevon, maybe if you should know he's got a new album out. Oh, as we speak. Although, if you're a fan, you probably know that already. Yeah. If you aren't a People fan. People who hate him, him out. Yeah. Do you believe in, uh, I think, Werewolves. lycanthropy? Is it, is it not called? What's that, sorry? Lycanthropy. What's lycanthropy? Isn't that? Wa werewolfism, really? isn't it? Isn't it? Do you believe in that, Carl? They've, they've, they've found stuff, haven't they? They've found kids walking about who are all airy, because right. uh, <coughs> they've, they've sort of grew up with uh, wolves and that. Yeah. So no, you see, two <laughs> things there. Um, right, uh, you cannot take on acquired uh, characteristics genetically. So if you grew up with wolves, it wouldn't suddenly make you hairy. Uh, there's two. been pictures. There's been pictures. There's been stories on it, and I reckon most people have. Or a lot of people have seen the stories. It's a popular you thing. Mean, you mean the kids that are born hairy? No, no. There's kids who've been born hairy, right? Yeah, that's it. No, but listen, and they walk around on all fours, <laughs> and they drink milk from a saucer. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, I've, Steve, this is no. Too remember, easy. listen. Remember that time with the maggot and the head? Yeah. Um, getting out with bacon, and you were like laughing, and then people called up and said. Yeah, same thing Have as you seen an XFM listener up close? Have you ever looked? They studied? drink milk from a saucer. <laughs> yeah, yeah, they've got to be kept on leads. People who listen to this show. There's, there's no point in me telling you about stuff. There is. It's comedy you see, gold. When you, when you were out of school, did you keep arguing with the teacher saying you're talking rubbish? There? Teachers didn't teach us about werewolf boys and ghosts. <laughs> they taught us maths. God, right? Tell the story about the man I'll cover. Right, in the same magazine as, uh, as the one with the, with the cat and the fire and that. Don't tell me that story again, it gives me the shit. Yeah, a cat that's <laughs> got a weird expression on its yeah. face well, is it, against God. Anyway, this isn't a scary story, this was just, uh, like yeah, physics. Physics. Yeah, yeah. Oh, it right. was going on about the, uh, nuclear bomb and uh, how powerful it is. And, uh, <laughs> they put, they put a manhole cover on top of one. <laughs> okay. Blew it up. Yeah. <laughs> Never saw the man I'll cover again. <laughs> <laughs> man alive, Carl. <laughs> I 
can't explain. What's that. going on there? Something weird is happening there. <laughs> oh. oh. If anyone has ever seen that Manol cover, <laughs> yeah, uh, please yeah. get in touch. We'd love to know where it is. Oh, that's fantastic. What sort of experiment is that? I imagine all these scientists on multi-billion pound research budgets, they're going, we test everything. What would you do to man or cover? Don't know. That's like letting a couple of students. <laughs> yeah, uh, yeah, exactly. Have yeah. Of a do you reckon they can send a traffic cone, cone yeah. into orbit? Go on, then put it on there. <laughs> I love that. I imagine that. What? Uh, what, of what value is that? <laughs> I'm like, so what we could do, we could let the, put the manhole cover on it and aim it and then blow the bomb up and it would, it would, the manhole cover would have someone's eye out. <laughs> fire it. See if you can fire manhole covers <laughs> off the nuclear bomb. I'll have a, toy bangers to a bomb, see if it's louder. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> okay, listen, Carl, play another track and then afterwards, can we probe your views on the, the week's news? If you want. We'll do a bit of a white van Carl session. Um... I've I met Carl a couple of times in our, our, our sabbatical, and uh, he uh, said to me once, he said, um, oysters. I said, have you ever tried oysters? I, said, I, I, I don't like them. And I went, uh, he said, oh, it's just, just a thing about swallowing them whole, you know. He went, well, the reason you have to do that is just they're, they're fatally poisonous. <laughs> and if you bite into them, they kill you. And I went, well, of course they don't. He went, yeah. I went, well, of, co of course. They wouldn't. <laughs> what have you chewed on? I said. He said no. I said, well, so you swallow them whole and they're not poisonous. He went, yeah, ah, see. He said, so he said when you swallow heroin in a in a Johnny, he says that doesn't kill you, does it? <laughs> <laughs> that was it. Oh. And then uh, about a week later, he went, I was wrong about them. <laughs> you were. Yeah. I went. Well, he said, yeah, yeah, yeah. And what did you say? It's if you eat them and then you have some whiskey. <laughs> They they turn deadly when when whiskey comes into contact with them. Yeah, when when uh, when they've had a drink. Howdy in your stomach. They right. start fighting. They can yeah, cause get larry. So, 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 what, so what are you saying now? Are you saying you don't believe that? Am I saying what? Are you saying you don't believe? Look, that? he thinks he's got us here. He thinks he's got us here. Yeah, I don't believe that if you eat an oyster, then drink some whiskey, you die. You might not die straight away, but. You won't feel. Eventually, 50 years time. If you've got, you've got to keep on drinking whiskey. Uh, yeah, 50, a bottle a day. 50 or 60 years later, he was dead. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Oyster and a bottle of whiskey a day. <laughs> oh. Then, out of nowhere, 40 years Wh later. Where's this information come from, Carl? If, if some doctor called up now. Yeah. And put you right, would you believe him? If it wasn't Dr. Fox. Yeah. <laughs> what about the airy, airy lads growing up with the werewolves and that? They didn't grow up they with didn't werewolves. werewolves. Grow up with werewolves. You've confused they're about three just different stories. It's a genetic stories, mutation where the, you know they were born with a you know, very very hirsute. There were a couple of kids. Yes, they didn't we know. grow up with wolves. And you can't kill them with a silver bullet. I mean, you're confusing two things. There aren't were you? some kids who were very very hairy. Yes, yeah. they're in folklore. There were some kids who grew up with wolves. Yes, I don't think. Yeah. There's no such thing as werewolves, Carl. You, you believe me. I saw a documentary on it on the History Channel. You'd have loved it. You 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 grew the up with a magpie. Werewolves. You know, you don't flap around, do you, and steal people's jewellery? Um. What was the thing you told me about snails? Uh, have you ever had any, um, <laughs> any post that, that looks like it's been opened? Occasionally, yeah, yeah. All right. Well, what it is, it's not your postman having a... A sneaky look. A sneaky look. <laughs> Problem is... Right. Uh, slugs. <laughs> <laughs> the problem's slugs. Slugs at <laughs> night. They like nipping about and that, and it gets a bit cold. And in London, like in the country, they go into the grass, don't they? Right. But in London, it's like, oh, what can we do? <laughs> and um, they go in letterboxes. Right? Slugs go in letterboxes. Get in letter letterboxes. It's nice and warm in there, uh, dry and what have you. And um, <laughs> these when, are homeless slugs, aren't they? The ones that lost their shell. When they're in there, they only found out that they love glue. They and love they've, glue. They've been <laughs> right. And. Um, <laughs> People have been getting charged for posts because it hasn't had stamps on it. It's like, well, they put a stamp on it. Yeah. It's like slugs have been eating it. Sure. And they also eat the glue that's on the actual envelope shutter. And it's a real popular problem, this, that uh, letters are being lost and opened and all that stuff. Yeah. Slugs. I like, are slugs like stealing postal orders and things and cashing them in and stuff? Yeah, again, you know, if there's a doctor, if there's a postman. Yeah. <laughs> Ah, well, with us two expert witnesses, a doctor and a postman. So, uh, <laughs> so postage is a real problem. Um, so uh, it's, when we see when we see uh, a slug's trail or a snail's trail, it's glue. That's the glue they've stolen, is it? 
that's they've just that's a little. So I'm we, not. I'm not going to say yes to that. that I'm not follow, sure. But we could follow that trail and, and find them, them, and they'd have a big sort of <laughs> big bio uh, letters. Uh, yeah, our stamps and yeah, <laughs> there they are. Like birthday cards for our uh, and stuff. Yeah, but two pound notes. Yeah. Oh, that's fantastic. Wow. Slugs. Yeah, and slugs. Be very careful. Your if you're going to go out this evening, you're thinking of having a whiskey, maybe some oysters, be very, very careful. Yeah, and Likewise, if you are going to post a letter, please, please do please, not use please. tasty glue. <laughs> I met Carl in the week against I, I told you, you shouldn't do I this. Know. You know, you should but then when the he, starts, he starts saying things like, oh, is this loud with the people? I go, no, save it, save it. And we just sit there and I'm scared to talk in case he comes up. But, um, you did tell me a couple of little things, didn't you? True stories that you know that, that I mean I enjoy. Right. Can you tell um, Steve one about the doctor? Right. Oh God. Um, What's what, where, is this something that happened to a friend of yours or is this? Uh, no, no, I read about it. You read about it. Okay. Um, there's this little lad. <laughs> right. Okay. First of all, it's it's years ago, right? When right, they didn't have times. they didn't have decent doctors in like every town and that. Yeah. And uh, this little kid is dead ill, right? Yeah. And the local doctor. <laughs> Well, there's a phone call involved, so I don't yeah, really well, get the impression it. that it's like medieval, medieval times. Yeah. Well, uh, yeah. But, but I didn't say that, I just said it's years ago. Go on so then. this kid's.